School plays will begin soon, but will students on stage have to wear a mask? News 2 New Jersey's Naomi Yane live tonight with those details. Naomi. Kurt Brittany, right now the governor's executive order requires students to wear masks while on stage. Now there are some exceptions, but not many. With schools back in session for in-person learning, the question of indoor performances moves to the head of the class. And for the answers, we talked with Bob Morris and the director of Arts Ed New Jersey about what schools are doing to safely bring the arts back from virtual to in-person. Doing the arts remotely is is very difficult. You know, you're not doing it together, and that's what's important about the arts. Last week, New Jersey educators received guidance on indoor performances, which includes concerts, plays, recitals, and exhibitions on school grounds during and after the school day, as well as weekends. One of the things that everyone's concerned about is aerosols that are generated when you speak or when you sing or when you scream or when you play a musical instrument. Since returning to in-person instruction, the state has seen a total of 126 outbreaks of in-school transmission of COVID cases. And according to the Scholastic Indoor Performance Guidance, which follows the governor's executive order, students must be masked while singing and during theatrical performances. Not only do we recommend the masks, but we also recommend you know, using microphones as well. So that way the performers are not having to exert as much energy when they're when they're speaking in order to be heard. So when is it okay for students to be unmasked during a performance? If you're doing a dance recital or a dance performance, for example, and you're involved in, you know, a high aerobic activity, which dance is, you know, that there is an exemption for that in the governor's executive order. Students playing musical instruments can also take their masks off, but their instruments have to be masked to keep the aerosols being generated through the musical instrument from going into the air. Naomi, if you think back to the spring, the indoor school performances were following the executive orders of our performing arts venues. Most of those venues now in the state now require proof of vaccination. Is this going to apply to the schools as well? Kurt, this doesn't apply to school performances, so that's the good news for uh, students and, and their parents and their families who want to attend shows. However, audience members do have to be masked the entire time. And I should also mention there aren't any bans right now on indoor school performances, and students can also perform outside, and there are no strict rules against that or uh, around that. Kurt? All right, Naomi, thank you.